I think it's really about addressing what's happening in the state. Tonight should be about the state of Wisconsin and what's happening here. I mean, certainly maybe if he wants to touch on if there's things we can do to help those workers here that are suffering, we, that should be talked about, but not necessarily getting into the politics of it or a comparison or a competition with the federal government. The day that I was not there for him to, to he, that he came Boston to caucus, caucus. Yes, I was actually at a school in my school district and one of the kids did ask me, well, what do you, you know, how does that impact you guys? And, you know, is, is there something to, that we should be fearful of? And I said, you know what, it doesn't impact us. We're state employees. And I told them about, you know, the fact that our, our budget is sound. And if it, if we can't agree, it, we will continue, you know, working and no one will, will be on furlough. If he wants to do the contrast of how we can work together in the state of Wisconsin, versus Congress who just can't seem to do that. And that will be his goal to continue to work to accomplish things for Wisconsin residents. But I would do it as, as an encouragement to Congress to get it done. The government is all local to them. And mm -hmm. uh, there are people that are being affected by it. My district hasn't been greatly impacted yet, mm -hmm. but we know as it goes on, it very well could impact funding from the federal government that goes to state agencies. Food stamps is one huge issue that we know could greatly affect people. So you can't really ignore it, but until it really comes home to roost, I wouldn't want to scare people either by predicting something horrible that may be averted any day.